Johannes Faber here on the course. To watch him Olympic Taylor. champion from 72. Olympic silver medalist in the double skulls, Marvin Taylor. Absolutely rampant here and in the Britain, Europeans. Thomas. Graham Thomas, many people's favourite for a podium place here. Which one will it be? The man from Agecroft Sculling Club. And 33 years six, of age. Jordan Parry. Jordan Parry, what a series of races. Lane the Kiwi two, has put one. together 26 years of age. Watched, of course, by Mahe Drysdale, who he competed with for the sculling seat. The Tokyo Olympics, the Taranga Oarsman over here in lane six. Well, let's see how this is going to go. We look at Oli Zeidler. We're talking about the race between him and Melvin Tweller in the centre. But we're looking at Chettelborsch. And, and we're hearing there was a yellow card, oh. maybe for a late to the start yeah. or a warm up violation for the Norwegian. Yeah, the so he's really got to make sure Great he doesn't Britain. make a full start in this race. New Zealand. And I'm looking in here Attention. at Oli Zeidler and just how short he is on that first stroke. Just a little leg press away. The last quarter slide he's been using to make sure he gets comfortably out of the start, but it's not quick. That's for was, sure. He was a little slow on that first stroke. Tweller really jumped out. It's like he saw the light before the sound and he and he went. So he really got a good start there. But Zeidler just dropped ever so slightly in this first few strokes. Yeah, Oli Zeidler hasn't been starting well this season. I think in many ways that's a good first 10 strokes for him to be in that position. It's just whether he keeps his rate up, as you can see, at 48 strokes a minute to try and get his bow in front, make up for those first five strokes in the next phase. That's what he's been doing as we uh, look across the field. And it's, it works for him that he gets to where he wants to be at the front of the field. The question is how much energy is he expending to do it? Tuskus takes a look across at Chettle Borsch, the Olympic champion. Looks to be his normal vibrant self, beautiful scent through the back end of the finish. Easy flow of the hands away. Chettle Borsch though, leading him by just a couple of meters as Oli Zeidler, well, plan A, there's no plan B, C or D for Oli Zeidler. It is get out and lead and see if I can beast myself into the ground and stay ahead till the finish. That is what Oli Zeidler is setting out to do. And he's moving away to get as much on this field as possible in the first quarter. Got to hand it to him. Yeah, you wonder at what point he sits and thinks, OK, I've done enough here. I'm not going to spend all my pickies in the first half of the race. Or does he just keep going and trying to open up an unassailable lead? I mean, we saw the Aussie men's four, I guess, race like that for five years, and it worked for them. Does it work in the single, Greg? Well, as it is, he's chowing into the whole picnic in the first 500 metres. He's got a massive lead. It's a length of clear water, but he's still at 41 strokes a minute. He's still that, you know, little bit short that we see him rowing sort of three-quarter slide, but it's given him a big lead and everyone else in the line behind. Yeah, look how they sit other five trailing scholars have come together. Great row from Jordan Parry here from New Zealand. He's been solidly a B finalist, including at the, Par at, at the uh, Tokyo Olympic Games last year, but finding himself in this A final and a great turn up from him. And that pace through the 500 metres that Zeidler set, you know, just two hundredths of a second slower than Robbie Manson's world beating time back in Poznan. When was it 2017 where he set that 6.30? What a pace for the German. Well, we've got the 500 metre legends race coming up. What Oli Zeidler's just done might be good for 500. The question is, will it be good for 2,000 metres? As we have a look over here at Jordan Parry. But what about the move? What about whether Melvin Tweller here in the centre of the course can start to eat into this lead now of the German scholar Oli Zeidler? Yeah, here goes Twella, but on screen here is Graham Thomas of Great Britain, Martin. Yeah, the man from Agecroft, former rugby player, got into the start scheme, jumped into the boat in Sarasota as a sub, stroked the British quadruple skull to a silver medal here in the single and uh, never looked back this season, won at Lucerne right in there but Melvin Tweller is moving back every stroke look at the Dutchman go beautiful push off the back end there yeah everything you would say about that technique of Melvin Tweller looks pretty good as they're coming through the thousand meter mark as it is they're starting to close the lead I think on Oli Zeidler and he's looking like it's hurting a bit as the rest of the field's tightening up Sarah but how about the Kiwi Jordan Parry what an incredible row he's having coached by Gary Roberts he's in the bronze medal position at the moment but 
steely look on his face. The German still in the lead, but Melvin Tweller from, New Z uh, from the Netherlands, his bow getting ever closer to the stern of the German. Well, I'm really interested in the way that Oli Zeidler has taken this on. He goes out so hard between that sort of 50 metres gone and 550 metres gone. He's opened up a lead now. But you compare it to something like we're seeing here from Jordan Perry, who's so long, so connected. He has that chance to relax on the recovery and just kind of you don't see it, but he kind of catches his breath and he gets ready. Oli Zeidler just keeps banging away at it. And I wonder whether he'll be able to hold that lead as we're kind of getting deep into this third quarter. Still got open water, 750 metres to go, and Tweller is tracking Oli Zeidler. Graham Thomas now making his move in this third quarter. This is where the British athlete is strong. The 33-year-old loves to make a move in this part of the race and is pushing, doing so. Chettle Borsch back there and Tuskos back there. And uh, Thomas challenging for the bronze medal now. Where are the Olympic gold and silver medalists they are in the back <laughs> of this field they're in fifth and sixth you question. can see them yeah. from the from the drone on the left hand side of your screen they're going to be very lucky to have any feature in the medals here it's this man here the german currently leading he's coming up to the 1500 meter mark still has open water over the dutchman but graham thomas and new zealand fighting for that bronze medal i have to say that's fantastic from all these idly you know whatever the result is at the finish he stayed ahead of melvin tweller in the third quarter You've got to hand it to the guy. He's really set his stall out there. Tweller now digging in. We've seen what he can do in the sprint finish, Greg. Well, Melvin Tweller, he's at 38 strokes a minute. He's actually rating higher now than Oli Zeidler. He must be rowing longer in the water. So every stroke, his boat is going to be going further than Oli Zeidler's is. It's just whether Zeidler can hang on and keep powering it and giving it enough as he does in the middle of the stroke. And it's working for him. Well, it's interesting you say that, Greg, because their boats are moving at the same speed, 4.9 metres per second here. So Oli Zeidler clearly has some, somewhere else to go. Well, he just gives it so much because his legs are in such a strong position that he whacks it in the middle of the stroke and it's working for him. And as you can see, he's now picking his boat speed up as he's coming towards that, those red boys. He'll be delighted to be in those red boys. And no, he's just got, what, 25 strokes to go to the line. He is moving out on Melvin Tweller. The German from the Frankfurter club is actually moving out. I can't believe what I'm seeing. This will be redemption for Oli Zeidler. Graham Thomas winning the race for bronze medal from Jordan Parry, Melvin Tweller, what's he got left to sprint on Oli Zeidler? Tweller is going 41 strokes per minute, but he is making no impact on this man, the German, Oli Zeidler. He's gonna take this race all the way down to the line with clear water, who would have thought? Oli Zeidler, watched by his father, his coach, Heino Zeidler, watched by his grandfather, Johannes Faber, Olympic champion in 1972. Redemption for Zeidler, redemption for German rowing. He takes the gold medal. It is the Dutchman with the silver medal and Graham Thomas gets the bronze medal for Britain. Oli did it, says our German producer. That is one of the greatest single skulls races you'll ever see because the man who won it took it out from the first stroke. How brave was Oli Zeidler? How brave was he? Incredibly brave, Martin. You said it. He only has one plan and he's gone away after those European championships and he's perfected the plan and he's worked out that he needs to have more at the end. And wasn't that spectacular when he went again in the red boys? I was worried for him that Melvin Tweller was going to come back at him. But no, he just stepped on again and he had it at the end. Melvin Tweller, a good silver medal in the end. He sculled a very standard race, but Oli Zyda did something special. Oh, Graham Thomas will be chuffed with that bronze medal ahead of the Olympic champion and Tuskos and the Olympic silver medalist, Borsch. Jordan Parry was right in there, wasn't he, all the way down. We're seeing them off the start here and Oli Zeidler slightly sort of nursing the boat into the race as he just comes up to length, just taking a little bit more each stroke. Then, once he was through those first five or ten strokes and he was away, he knew exactly what to do. And he did what he does, and it's won him a gold medal here today. Unbelievable. I mean, from the Europeans, we were talking about the psychological issues he might have had, you know, not delivering on his home course. Ah, and he's pointed.